guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Envelope Plays Minecraft. I'm Mr. Envelope, and right now we're in top of the base area. Um, and as you can see directly behind me, I have some of these nice little pumpkins right here. Um, I made a tutorial video on how to get these set up, and I went ahead and I put a few of them um, all around the base and everything. And you can see there's a couple right there. Uh, there's some inside of the houses. Um, yeah, I kind of just uh, put them everywhere to, you know, kind of get this place in the Halloween spirit. And um, let's get everything back in order. Um, but yeah, there should be an annotation to that video popping up somewhere now. And um, I recommend you go check it out if you want to build these, because these are pretty cool. I think they look really neat. Miniature pumpkins right next to the big ones. Um, but yeah, anyways, today what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to do some building underground. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of the outdoors before we actually went inside because um, <laughs> I have some plans uh, for this area, the end portal room. Um, we've been here before and I've showed you guys it. Um, <laughs> I need to make a better way to come down because going up is cool. Um, but I, I showed you guys this and that uh, I still remember that I have stuff to do here. Um, but I haven't actually come back to touch anything yet. Um, I feel like the episode where we started this, uh, we didn't get much done, but um, hopefully that'll change today. And uh, yeah, so what we gotta do is we gotta go gather a couple materials, um, and then we can get started on this. Alrighty guys, so we are back in the room, and as you can see, um, all I really had to go collect was some lava. Um, I didn't realize that I already had a bunch of quartz, and uh, I even found uh, more in that chest right there with that's full of supplies. Um, and I already started building some of this area, um, mostly because I had tried to record it, and uh, I didn't come out how I liked it. So, <laughs> here we are doing it again. Um, but you can see I already started this area a little bit, like I just said, and um, yeah, you could kind of see the feel that I'm going for. Um, now, this whole area is supposed to be like a uh, broken and decrepit um, stronghold, I suppose. Um, and I feel like uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that this whole area is a uh, stone brick. Like that's the main um, block that this whole room will be built out of. Um, but then you'll see that there's gonna be touches of quartz all around to show like some I guess regalness and like this place used to be all high and mighty. Um, and then I'm going to have some purple stained clay, which is actually blue stained, but it looks purple. Um, I like how it looks. And uh, we have some here, and I made this pathway using some of it. Um, and there's some quartz right here. I'll probably take out the quartz and use stone brick or something. I feel like this is a bit much. Um, and then, like, once it's all done, I'm going to go through and add details, like, uh, like this right here with a bunch of stairs. And uh, I'll just keep making sure I put in some purple behind it because... Um, I don't know, I like all the purple blocks here, but I feel like these blocks are just a bit much, and I do want to keep some hidden, like right there. Um, I don't know why I zoomed in, you guys can clearly see that from here. <laughs> and um, yeah, we have like these columns right here, and I'm going to make sure I put a few of those in here. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm doing. And I'm one thing that I also realized uh, that I have to do is um, I have to lower the ceiling. Um, because uh, it's not... Th well, <laughs> let me... Let me catch my thoughts. Um, right here is the brewing area, and I gotta make sure that um, this is not affected uh, by any future brewing stations that I make, because the next one would go right here, and uh, I don't want to interfere with anything. And, uh, you know, this place doesn't need to be that high. Um, it is going to be a little high, um, but not too much. Um, I think the max will be, like, at that block right there. I'll just go ahead and maybe wrap it around like so, because um, that's all I really need to do. And then, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to take out a lot of these blocks right here. I'm going to replace them with stone bricks, so I can just go ahead and start working on this. Um, and then once I actually make some progress, I'm going to come back and show you guys what I've done. Um, because this place is, I think it's going to look really cool. I have it done in creative. Um, I think I've mentioned that before. Um, ooh, is there a mob over here? I want to find it now. Um, I think I've mentioned it before that uh, I have this done already, but uh, you guys have not seen it yet, and I, I like it a lot. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and find this mob, kill it, and then I'll be back to show you guys what I've done. A 
And there we go. I think um, these little lava fountains, I think they're a really nice touch. Um, I, but when I was first designing this room, I was thinking that I would use water. Um, but I don't know. I've never really done anything with lava because I always thought it was like super tacky. And um, I don't think I overdid it, especially because um, I feel like the end and the nether are really closely tied together. And um, every time I think of the nether, I think of lava. So I just thought this would be a fitting touch. And I don't want to add like any netherrack or anything because I think uh, all those nethery bricks are, or blocks are kind of, you know, overdone and everything. And I never really mess with quartz because... Um, I feel like I always mess it up, like I always put too much down, and um, I feel like I'm getting pretty close with that here, honestly, uh, like with this whole uh, entrance pedestal and everything, um, but I think this looks pretty good. Um, but what I have to do now is, um, there's a few details that I want to throw in here, um, like adding a lot of these pillars, uh, I know I mentioned before uh, that these pillars are going to kind of be everywhere. Oh god, please don't fall. Okay. <laughs> um, and these are supposed to be like the old structure beams, I suppose. Um, every time I have one of these, I want to put some stairs like that. Uh, even if it's on the side of the wall. You know, just to, to show like there was something here, I suppose. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll keep this one flat like that. Uh, but that one can stay. Uh, that one's hidden. And then you can see I keep adding like these little... Uh, poke holes with the purple behind it. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm still going to add like a few more here and a few more up there. I'm going to switch out a lot of the plain brick uh, for the crack stuff. I know I mentioned this already, but I'm just uh, refreshing your guys' memory. <laughs> um, I'll be sure to cover that up so you can't see any of that redstone. Um, and you know, when you're coming through here, or when I'm coming through here, uh, you're not going to see, you're not going to like be ex inspecting the room every time. But I still want to put in a lot of the detail in case I ever do like a world download. Uh, that way people can come and I guess appreciate the work I put into this. Um, because, you know, I, I think this is pretty important to have a nice uh, end portal room. Um, I never really thought about it until uh, I think False Symmetry did uh, the Hermit's portal room in uh, their video or on their server. Um, and this isn't an SMP, this is just me playing, but you know. And um, this one I think is my favorite here. Let's try to get a, a good angle on it. Oh god, I have to do like parkour across lava here. Um, well, this will do. Um, yeah, so there's like a structure beam right here exposed on the wall. And then I put uh, one that fell right there. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to maybe, maybe do that. I think that'll work. Um, and right here, this whole wall is completely flat and uh, open, and that's because I'm going to add a bigger fountain and stuff. One that you'll see uh, right before you jump through the portal. And uh, I've been using this a lot just to get up here. Uh, I closed up this whole area. It's like solid stone now, um, just so I can get some more work done. Uh, because there are going to be some things that I add to the ceiling, um, which we're going to actually do right now. Um, let's see. Let's, let's put one right here. So I had said... Like a minute ago that there are like some of these uh columns coming down oh i don't know if i like how that obstructs the view uh maybe we'll put it like two more blocks over uh, i'm gonna put a couple columns Let's see how that looks uh hanging from the ceiling maybe maybe we'll just do this um maybe we'll just go one We'll go like that. Ooh, I reached. I'm surprised. Alright, I'll see how that looks. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, except I think I'm gonna... I think I am gonna actually go ahead and do that. So you can see the whole thing. Um, and then we'll put, like, a fallen stair. Like so, or something. I don't know. You know, like, the missing part that's there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add, like, I think two more of those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of the little details that I'm putting in there uh, And then when I come back we can actually uh, both work together on this part because um, Yeah, that way we can actually not have so many just cuts and everything so I'll be back um, Once I get more of these set up I Don't know if I showed this but I did find a pool of lava uh, Right here underneath where uh, I'm actually building or cleaning up the portal room um, so that's really helpful and there were diamonds there I'll go back and get them uh, once I actually finish this uh, and close this off because yeah we probably won't be going back there but I am glad that there is that thing that pool of lava there because um don't have to keep making trips to the nether 
which was a big reason why I didn't really want to start this project. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is it. This is what I've done so far. Again, another update. Um, we have that uh, pillar still there. I, sh I, I think we built that one together. <laughs> um, and I added a little bit in the walls right there, a little couple holes. Uh, there's some more right there falling apart. Um, and I made this part right here all completely broken in. Um, as if like that pillar had fallen or something and I'll close that up once I'm done using the lava and everything and um, I'm still gonna add some more stuff, but I feel like the ceiling is getting kind of bare um, I'll probably add some more texture to that maybe like how I'm doing with the stairs and everything and the slabs um, And then again, I still need to go ahead and add some more mossy and cracked uh, Stone um, and I know I said that we were gonna build this together But I kind of already threw down some blocks to see what they would look like uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bridge across so I don't die <laughs> Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I thought this one would work to make it a little more fancy. Um, what we have here is um, I'm going to put some lava here and I'm hoping that it's going to fall down. Uh, go through here and then fall down that way. Um, and I don't want it to bump out like uh, how, let's see, how this lava is doing, how it pulls out. And so uh, what I'm going to do is take this out and take that out. Uh, we'll put another source there another source there and then we put that uh, the one that falls down I think it should come down nicely uh, so let's go ahead and see we can take that out now hopefully it'll work um, I'm thinking about putting a pillar there uh, one of those but I don't think it's gonna look too good and here it comes yep I think that looks good I think we're gonna keep that um, and yeah so this whole project it's been taking a while, I'm not going to lie, um, because I'm trying to get like all these details, uh, eh, that can stay, I'm trying to get all these details done, but, man, it's taking forever, uh, whoop, wait, but I really think it's going to be worth it, um, I mean, like I said, no one else is going to see this, but I'll see it, I'll know that I put work into it, and I'll, uh, I'll be happy for it, um, and I did go ahead and cover up the, uh, the redstone that was back here. Um, now we just have uh, those slabs and everything, and I think this part looks good. Actually gives this bridge a little bit of a purpose, because there is lava underneath this now. Um, and it's all source blocks too, there's no flowing lava except for that, um, where it needs to be flowing, so that's good. Um, hmm, I don't know if I like that. It's not as uh, grandiose as I thought it would be. Maybe I should put uh, sources right there on the sides. Or maybe I should put sources right there on the two sides. Let's let's try that. Let's try doing that. Um, uh, yep. All right. Um, oh, I don't know if I like that. What if? Here, let's take that out for a minute. I don't like this big old uh, blob right here. Can you go down? Uh, crap, I might have broken this. What if we did that? Or what if we put it right here? That way it looks like it comes down, goes that way, and then goes down. Let's try that. Alright. Okay. I think I like this better. Let's let's take a look from over here. Oh yeah, that's that's much better. Except uh, we will have to get rid of this. <laughs> that's not gonna be permanent. Um, all right. So now that we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, actually make this part uh, look a little fancier because um. Okay, come on. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna make uh, up here look a little nicer, and uh, it is gonna be covered up. Like we should probably just go ahead and uh. I guess do that for now um i'm gonna go ahead and like uh, finish these pillars all the way up i think um and we're gonna add some like stained glass and everything make it look all pretty um because you'll only see it for a second like right before you go through the portal and um, you can see there's no ender pearls in here i'm not gonna make not gonna make the same mistake as uh ninja giraffe <laughs> i don't know if you guys are um familiar with ninja giraffe but he's a youtuber too um i subscribed to him a while ago because i saw that uh he was watching my videos and stuff uh, but he's a really great YouTuber, and uh, I was watching his video where he was uh, making his portal room look a little nicer. And um, he already put all the Eyes of Ender inside of here, and he was, you know, like, just, 
you know, talking, building and stuff. And then he fell through. <laughs> it was really funny, but he handled it like a champ. He, um, he wasn't planning on going to the end quite yet. Um, but he ended up doing it anyways, cause he fell through. Um, and it was so clutch. He like barely saved his ass. It was amazing. It was a really good fight. Um, really funny too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go grab some materials for that. And then we can get started on this part because, um, yeah, I think we'll do that part together because uh, I lied about doing this part together. So let's go ahead and do that. Another thing I realized is that I still have to make this part look a little nicer. Um, I'm going to try to close off the part, uh, the top right here because I want to make it so you don't really see the whole um, portal or anything until you actually get down here. So I'll probably put some blocks uh, probably all the way up to here or something pretty low. So, um... Yeah, I'll have to do that. We probably won't. I'll probably do that part off camera because it's kind of getting uh, repetitive of what's going on here. Like you guys see what's happening. Uh, there's a lot of stone brick and a lot of lava. <laughs> uh, but all right, let's get back up here. Here we are. You can see I grabbed some uh, some purple stained clay and uh, let's see some obsidian. I think that's gonna be all we want. Um, let's take this out and I think we're gonna. Yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, I fell. I did some mock-ups of this in uh, creative, like I said, but this part was kind of tricky because I wasn't fully satisfied on how this was looking. Um, so you guys are going to see some thought process right here. A lot of changing of blocks <laughs> because I probably am going to change my mind a lot. Um, I think that part looks okay. Maybe I want to I want to put glass down, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, here, let's take that out. This is going to suck if I don't like it because that's obsidian. Uh, and also, let's go ahead and fill this up so we don't get any uh, random spawns. God damn it! <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um, maybe I should get some glowstone so it kind of glows up here too. Uh, right there. And more blocks. And it's like that'll do. No, this part is. Obsidian, and uh, let's get that filled in. Yeah, I think I should go get some glowstone. Uh, we'll probably put them in the ceiling part. Oh no 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 no! Damn it. Okay, that is taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and put the glass down. Uh, let's put some down for me to walk on. Damn it! No, I'm so bad at this. Um, but to be fair, the portal blocks have. Um, a different hitbox. It's really, it's really short. Um, here, let's, let's do this for now. Um, alright, so let's put those down. Um, would it look tacky if I just, like, spammed glowstone right there? Definitely made it brighter. Glowstone is very, uh, end, end looking for me. Otherwise, I'd probably use sea lanterns. Oh, maybe sea lanterns would look good here. No, 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 no. I, th I think this is good. Um, in fact, I think if we just left this part like this, I don't think it'd look too bad. Um, looking in my inventory for anything like super special, but I think that would be fine. Sorry about that cut. Uh, there are some release sirens going off. Um, but yeah, I think this part right here actually looks fine. What if we... Oh, okay, okay, I think we're gonna do this. Oh, I need to go get more glass. Um, but I think that's going to look fine. Actually, I don't like that glass right there. Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to juke it out. Oh, I can't get up there anymore. Um, there we go. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on. Those monster egg ones forever <laughs> um what if we did that and then obsidian this is a risky trial if i don't like it i have to take the obsidian out um and a light right there i don't i think i think this is what's kind of making it look ugly oh you know what i kind of like that um maybe less glowstone though all right, guys, what do you think? I think this is gonna be the one. Uh, there's still some touches of 
uh, stone brick in there, which I think is good. And we got the purple clay, which is actually blue clay because the dying system is weird. Um, we got the glowstone and we got some obsidian to accent the obsidian that's here so it doesn't just look like it's there to hold the slime block back. Um, I think this looks good. I like this a lot. Um, but what I'm actually going to do now is um, I'm going to completely finish this. Uh, off camera now. I think uh, you guys are probably done of the updates of everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, are you ready for the big reveal? That's right. I put these things here just for now. It's um, it's all solid blocks and I'll make this uh, slowly merge into the quartz filled room down there. Uh, but if we come over here... Yep, this is it. I think, you know, it probably looks the same from the last time. Um, but I did go ahead and I changed out a lot of the blocks and everything. I'll probably go ahead and do the ceiling too, because looking at it now, uh, it looks pretty plain. But a problem I see with that is that um, a lot of these are slabs. Um, and I did go ahead and hide all of the clay that uh, is visible, uh, or that was visible from right here. Um, I went ahead and hid that uh, from down here, just so, um, I don't know, I guess this part looks a little more flowy. Oh, there's some stuff right there. I gotta, oh no, I gotta change that. We can't have any stone visible. Um, let's get a cracked piece. Uh, bam, there we go. Okay, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this place. I'm so happy that it's finally done because... Um, oh, I still gotta close this up. Um, yeah, this took a long time. And to be honest, I was kind of not looking forward to doing this because I thought it would take way longer. But um, here we are in the finished room and I like it a lot. I am very proud of this. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it'll look better once we get our creeper head, because then we'll have all the mob skulls. And um, I'm sure once we get a dragon head too, we can put that somewhere in here. Maybe over there in the front. Or in the back, I mean. Whoop! Oh, I'm glad that wasn't lit. I was just thinking about lighting it too. Um, but we'll probably wait until we actually go to the end, which should be pretty soon, because... Um, yeah, you know, 1.9 is... It's getting really, really close. Like, I don't know, they keep adding snapshots and everything. Um... And I don't know, I just feel like it's getting closer and closer. Um, I think they made a comment about it coming out like sometime this year. But who knows, I'm kind of expecting it to come out next year, but we'll see. Um, but one thing I want to show you guys really quick is um, I've been doing a little bit of work uh, in the nether. I did it on a stream. Um, you can see the pattern I'm doing here. Uh, we got some, you know, some stone. Or cobblestone and then we got some nether brick you can walk through this and everything but one thing i'm planning on doing is um digging like kind of a trench so it's more like suspended and everything um i'm gonna go ahead and merge this pattern uh down to over here and uh, i've kind of changed how this uh this spot uh, works a little bit i'm gonna move that uh, design over here too um one thing i had gotta be careful i forget where i stopped digging um we're gonna make this go straight that way and then go up a little bit just in case if anything's over there we put a portal there um but while it goes straight uh ooh, gotta be careful uh we're gonna put a nice uh walkway to there and then we're gonna make this go that way too because uh one thing i don't think i've ever shown is uh, i have a really long tunnel over here here we can go walk to it um i have a long tunnel over here that takes me to um a little tiny desert right next to a village uh, it goes all the way up there and it goes pretty far uh, not too far but we'll make a nice pathway to there and then uh, what's this this was the original pathway that I had to get to my um, my ice spikes biome so I do have a bit of work to do in the nether because I do want to get like a little hub going um, nothing too fancy or too special um, I was thinking of doing like a really big project with it but I don't think that'll be really uh, worth my trouble since you know, all the stuff I do in the nether is kind of just like getting from point A to point B. If I spend a lot of time on a giant hub and everything uh, that only I use, I don't see that as being very um, very time efficient or anything. Um, and I do want to make a horse stable because I'm trying to make sure all my paths are big enough to support um, the horses. Uh, because this guy is actually a pretty good horse, so um, yeah, I'll make sure that those fit him and everything. Um, but I do think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I do want to thank you guys for um, supporting my videos. I recently had my channel um, kind of critiqued by a few friends. And, um, you know, they gave me some positive feedback. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for sticking along for the ride. Um, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, but I do think that is going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to say thanks really quick. Um, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to hit the like button if you did like this episode, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, guys. Let's do this. Okay. Dun, 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 so epic. <laughs>